deck of pillows handy. And I have I have my windows open tonight. So fingers crossed that there's not a lot of outside noise that's gonna get in the way of our practice. But if it becomes too distracting, you'll just see me pop over, close the windows and carry on with my day. Okay, so we are gonna start sitting on our stack of pillows. So if you can stack your pillows in a really nice high stack, and then we're just gonna come down to sit our butt onto our stack of pillows, but think butt back to the heel. So that's what we're shooting for is this little bit of an a little bit of a hero's pose, but with a little bit of cushioning. And then if you get here and you're like, whoa, that I, I need a little bit more cushion, lift off, double stack your pillows, do whatever you need to do. So this feels like a good, comfortable way to sit. And then once you feel like you've got a nice position, it's just a nice upright spine. If you can, if it feels good to do so, close your eyes down. And we're just gonna tune into the breath here. So hopefully this is a comfortable enough position. Your knees feel okay. We're shooting for a little bit of gentle stretch through the quadricep muscles, but hopefully there's nothing that's shooting pain into your knees. If there's anything that's going on there, readjust some things. But if it feels good to be here with a nice tall spine, eyes closed down, and then see if you can just kind of focus in on the space of your rib cage. So think front to back, side to side with the ribs and just take some nice long inhalations and some nice slow exhalations. In this seated position, if it's available, hand to the belly, hand to the heart, eyes closed down, soften your jaw, soften your cheekbones and soften your eyes and just allow a nice full inhalation to fill your lungs up. Nice slow breath out. Set an intention here to honor your mind and your body throughout your practice, never doing anything that would cause your body pain and treating yourself with love, care and respect. And with that intention set, you might choose to stay right here with this upright spine, but if it feels okay to be there, you're going to lean back just a little bit. So hands are going to come behind you. You're going to lean back into your seat just a little bit, and this is going to create a little space through that front hip pocket area. So that's what we're looking to find, just a little bit of gentle space there. But if leaning back does not feel good, especially to the knees, you're going to leave that part off and stay in that more upright seat. But if it feels okay to be here, Hi, Audra. Audra, we need two bed pillows and we're starting in just a little stack of the pillows and we're just sitting right our butt right onto our pillows and leaning back just a little bit. Take one more breath here. And then if you are in that leaned back position, come forward into a tabletop. We're just gonna lift our butt up away from our stack of pillows. And then in any way that works good for you, move your stack of pillows right out in front of you. And we're gonna take it right into his extended child's pose. So we're gonna bring the big toes together, knees out nice and wide. And now butt's gonna come back to the heels, but you're gonna just tune in for a second and make sure that feels okay. If you need to create a little space, you're gonna tuck one pillow sideways so it cushions the knees. But otherwise you're gonna take that stack of pillows, place it right in front of you and then soften your heart onto your pillow. And then if you opt to turn your head to one side, I'll tell you at the halfway point, so you might choose to turn your head the other way just for a little symmetry, but any variation that feels good, readjust your head so that you're feeling good, soften through the back of the body.
If you have your head turned one direction, you might choose to turn it the other way just for that little bit of symmetry. But if you're happy as you are, keep everything nice and soft and still, allowing just a little time here to let your breath slow down. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly start to lift your butt up away from your heels. Readjust yourself so you can come up into a tabletop position. And then we're gonna move our stack of pillows out of the way, assess how things feel, and then you might choose to bring your pillows back in. So in your tabletop position, knees in line with the hips, wrists in line with the shoulders, we're just gonna take a couple of cat cows here. Inhale as you drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Exhale as you round your back. And then just check in here and notice how are your knees feeling? How are your hips feeling? And we're gonna take our um, lizard lunge. So it's that nice low, but wide lunge. So kind of get a sense of how do your knees feel? Would you want a little cushion under your knee that's gonna be on the ground? So you get a sense of how your knees feel with them on the ground and then see if you can just step your right foot out to the outside of your pinky finger. So this might be enough. You already might be in a good enough lunge position right here. The knee is slightly wide. If it feels really good and you want just a little bit more, you might choose to just let the knee kind of drop open and see how that feels. But now if you want just a little bit more and you want to get a little bit deeper, or if you're super bendy and that feels good to get a little bit deeper into it, you'll maybe walk the left knee back a little bit and sink a little further into that. Knee can drop out if that feels good. And then lastly, if it feels really good to go into that deeper position, elbows and forearms down in the ground. Now, other variations that might be helpful, you might choose to take your stack of pillows to the front of the body, keep that wide lunge, but support yourself on the pillows. And then the other option that might feel really good is to keep one pillow under the knee that's on the ground. You step the right foot up into your lunge variation that you like, but that back knee is protected. So take a second to make sure everything feels like it's in a really nice position, whatever, whatever that means to you. And then once you feel like you're there, invite some softness in. Soften into your hips, soften into your inner thighs. If you went into that deeper position and then you get there and you're like, mm, no, thank you. You might choose to walk it back. You might choose to walk that leg in a little bit closer. So you make sure it's in a, a level of intensity that works good for you and you can breathe comfortably in. Can you hear me, Audra?
Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly, gently, mindfully, bring yourself back up and out. Step that leg back. If you cushioned your knee or you have your props underneath you, take a second to move them out of the way. Come back to your tabletop position. And then we're just going to bop the hips a little side to side. So like you're trying to drop your hips down towards the ground just to invite a little bit of fluid movement in, but not too much. We want to still keep the body fairly cold so we can hit that lunge onto the other side. So when you feel like you're ready, Step your left foot up to that wide position, so to the outside of the pinky finger. This might be enough. You might already be there, and you just maybe let the knee open up just a little bit, or you might choose to walk the right leg back, going a little bit deeper, and then any other variations that might feel good. You might choose to stack your pillows in front of you. It brings the floor up to meet your hands, so you might not need to go so deep with the top half of the body, or if you like that little cushion for the back of your knee, you're going to place that pillow underneath your back knee. Anything that feels good to you there, find the position that's right for you. And then settle into that shape. Soften your inner thigh. Soften your jaw. If this lizard position doesn't feel right to you and you prefer it, you can always flip over onto your back and take it into a half happy baby. It's gonna access the same muscles, but without that extreme position of being in that lunge with your body weight added to it. So if it feels better to flip over onto your back, do that. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly and mindfully bring yourself back up and out. Find your way to that tabletop position, move your props out of the way. <clears throat> and then once you've found your tabletop position, back to those hip bops. So we're just gonna drop the hips side to side like you're trying to drop the side of your hips down towards the ground. Awesome, one more little bop of the hips side to side. And then you're gonna choose whether or not you want the pillows or not pillows, that'll be totally up to you. But to start, take your stack of pillows in front of you. We're gonna take it into a puppy pose, but we're gonna use the pillows as a little bit of a support. The pillows can actually bring you deeper into that stretch. So if your shoulders and your chest don't like that deeper position, you might choose to keep the pillows off. But see how it feels. Hips are gonna stay fairly in line with the knees arms on the stack of pillows, and then you're gonna let your chest and your forehead sink down. 
If it feels good to keep the pillows there, awesome. If it feels like that's a little intense and a little too much, move the pillows out of the way and take your puppy pose without the props. We're a little over halfway through our hold in this position, but if the pillows have become too much and the position has become too intense, you might choose to move them out of the way. But if all is feeling good, soft in the chest, soften your upper body and invite some softness into your jaw. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, start by drawing your abdominal muscles in. So firm up your belly to come up and out. That way you support the shoulders as you lift off of your stack of pillows. And then as you come back into your tabletop position, three cat cows here. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your tail. Exhale to round your back. Inhale to drop your belly. Exhale to round. Awesome, one more time. Inhale, drop your belly. Exhale to round. And then finding a neutral spine, we're just gonna swing the legs out and around and then we're gonna start to find our way down to the ground. We're gonna take it into a little bit of a twist, but we're gonna use our stack of pillows as a prop. So take your stack of pillows off to one side, whatever side you choose to do first, we're gonna do both sides. So it'll take care of itself there. But as you come down, you're going to lay on your side a little bit and then arrange it so that you can take your top knee and prop it up on your stack of pillows. So we're going to get into that sideline position. And then once you've got your knee propped up on your pillows and your bottom arm is free, the top arm is going to reach back. So we're going to take it into a twist that hopefully works towards finding some um, movement in the thoracic spine. So think upper body twist. So that top arm is going to reach back and then you're just going to let the hand fall nice and heavy. Don't worry if the top hand doesn't reach the ground, just let it hang kind of heavy, but keep your legs anchored on your pillow. And then if it creates a challenge to keep the legs anchored on the pillow, just take your other hand that's free and kind of gently press into the knee just to kind of hold it in place. But if it all feels good to keep it in a lighter, looser position, arms out nice and wide, top hand reaching behind you, and then head might be in a neutral position looking up towards the ceiling or the head might 
turn and look at that backhand behind you, but only if that feels good. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, that back hand or the hand that's reaching behind you is going to gently pull in. So roll back onto your side, finding that little bit of a fetal position. And then take that top arm and draw some nice big circles. Circle it in one direction. And then circle that top arm the other way. Awesome. And then when you're ready, we're going to find our way to the other side. I'm going to flip over so I'm still facing out. So I have my eyes on the camera and eyes on my screen. But you flip over in any way that works good for you. Take your stack of pillows with you. Find that sideline position. Stack your leg or your knee up on top of that stack of pillows. Start there. Make sure everything feels arranged nicely. The bottom leg is extended nice and long. And then once you feel like things are in a good position, take your top hand, reach it behind you, and find that twist or that opening up. It's a thoracic twist. So we're choosing to keep the twist more in the upper body portion. And so if that knee kind of wants to follow with, you might choose to anchor that top leg on the pillow stack with your free hand, but only if that feels good. If it feels good to keep a looser position, keep the looser position.
Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, start by bringing that back hand or the hand that's twisted behind you, bring it back in, rolling back into that sideline position and then take that top arm and draw some nice big generous circles. Circle in one direction, just as far as feels right and comfortable to your arm and your shoulder. Awesome, and then take that top arm, draw it in circles, go the other way. Nice, and then when you're ready, we're gonna take it onto our backside, moving right into our banana nasana. So you don't need your pillows or anything for that. So if you wanna scooch them out of the way, do that. <laughs> but then when you're there, once you get back onto your backside, knees bent just to get us set up. So you're gonna push into your feet, shift your hips over to the right side of your mat and walk your feet to the bottom left corner of your mat. And then arms are gonna reach up to the top left corner of the mat. So we're making that nice crescent shape with the body get into that position, see how it feels. And then if it feels good, but you just don't get quite enough sensation, you might choose to take your right leg or your top leg and stack it on top of the left. So you just get a little bit more sensation, but only if that feels right for your body. And then once you've got that crescent shape and things are feeling good, see if you can just tune in and notice. You might notice the side of your hip and your side body, and that's where you're gonna find the work happening. So what we wanna try to do is see if we can relax the muscle tissue around the hip and relax the muscle tissues around the side of your ribs. Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly start to come out. If your foot is stacked, you might choose to start by unstacking the foot, walking everything gently back to center. And then as you come back to center, maybe take a couple of little gentle windshield wipers, not too much. We wanna still keep the hips fairly cold. Our yin yoga practice is a cold practice. So we don't wanna get the muscle tissue too warmed up or gummy, but we do want to move the body a little bit after we've held a pose just to kind of move anything that may have come unstuck. So once you feel like you've kind of loosened things up just a little bit, then we're gonna take it right to the other side. Push into your feet, scoot your hips over to the left side of your mat, walk your feet down to the right corner of your mat and then hands up to that top right corner of your mat. So we find that crescent shape to the other side. 
tune in right away and notice. If it feels like it's just not enough sensation for you, you might choose to stack the left foot on top of the right, a little crisscross at the ankles, might draw you a little bit deeper into that sensation, but only if that feels right for your body. And then once you've got the position that feels good, tune into the side of your hip, the side of your ribs, and see if you can relax the muscle tissue in that area. Let it get nice and soft and heavy. Take one more breath. And then when you're ready, slowly start to come out. If your foot is stuck, start by unhooking your foot, walk everything back to center, scoot your bum around, and then maybe take a couple of gentle windshield wipers just to kind of soothe out anything that you may have come across. But then once you feel like you've kind of got that soothing position worked out, we're gonna take it right into a figure four. So right leg is gonna come across the left and you're gonna pause here for a moment and notice how that feels. You might choose to just keep your right hand on your right inner thigh and a gentle pushing open. This might be enough, especially up in that front hip pocket area and then around the edge of your hip, you might be finding plenty of good sensation there. If it feels good and you want that little bit more, you might choose to lift your leg up and thread your hands through getting a hand hold that works good for you. If you have any mischievousness with your knee, you might choose to keep a little bit of a flex in your right foot just to make sure that the knee feels good and cushioned. Or you might choose to prop your foot up against the wall or up against your bed if it feels like a little bit more support here, it might be nice. Any variation that feels good to you. And again, you, you might choose to keep your foot back down on the ground with your hand on your inner thigh. So make sure you choose a variation that you can breathe comfortably in. Soften your shoulders, soften your jaw.
Take one more breath here. We're gonna stick with this right leg in that figure four position, but if you were hugged up to the chest, go ahead and release left foot down to the ground. If you propped up on your bed or on your wall, go ahead and release your foot down. Pause for a second, make sure everything feels okay, but keeping that figure four if you can, we're only gonna stay for about five to 10 cycles of breath, just depending on how fast you breathe. But we're gonna take this figure four, drop your right foot over to the left. So you're gonna see if you can let your foot find the ground. And then in that twisted position, just depending on the variables of your hip, if it feels good, left hand is gonna push the inner thigh open just a little bit. That might feel nice, but that is not for everybody. For some of us, that might feel really intense. So check in with your hip, make sure that feels like a comfortable position. And then just take three, three, five, ten 10 nice deep breaths here. Just slow your breath down, allow your body just a little bit of time to feel that sensation in the outer edge of your hip. Take one more breath. If you opted to put your hand on the inner thigh, go ahead and release it and then slow and controlled. Pull those legs back to center, step your right foot off the left, both feet on the ground, and then just pause for a moment and notice. Notice how one side feels a little different than the other. And then once you feel like you've noticed, maybe just a little swish of the knees side to side, but not too much. You wanna still keep the muscles cold. And then when you feel like you've kind of worked out any of that little dull ache that may have happened over on that right side, now we're going to take it over to the left. So left foot's going to find that figure four position. Start with the hand on the inner thigh, pushing open and see how that feels. That might be plenty. If that feels good and you want more sensation, you either are going to lift the right leg up and thread the hands through, prop it up on a bed or a wall. Anything that feels good, once you get there, invite some softness in. Check with your knee, make sure your knee feels good. If you need to flex that left foot so that the knee feels supported. But then see, can you relax your shoulders? Are you breathing comfortably?
Take one more breath here. And then when you're ready, slowly release. So if your foot is propped up on the bed or the wall, step it down. If you're in that hugged in position, set the foot down. Or if you were just pressing into the inner thigh, release your hand. Notice how that feels. And then if you need to move anything, rearrange. But now we're going to keep that figure four position. Take that left foot and drop it over to the right. Finding a twist in our figure four. We're not going to stay here for the three minutes. It's just going to be a couple of cycles of breath. I say five to 10 cycles of breath, but that's mainly because I talk a lot. <laughs> so if it feels good and you want just a little bit more sensation, you might choose to take your right hand to that inner thigh, gently push the knee open, don't go too far, make sure your knee feels happy about it and your hip feels like a good sensation. And then once you're there, slow down and tune back into the breath. Nice, generous inhale. Slow but natural exhale. Take one more breath here. If your hand is on the inner thigh, go ahead and release it. With control, bring your legs back up to center. Step your left foot off the right, both feet on the ground. And this time, step, step your feet out a little bit wider. So go for your big wide windshield wipers, however wide feels good to you. And then just start to take those knees and switch them side to side to a nice big depth. So, so allow a big amount of movement to happen here. Notice your hips, notice your back. Awesome, take one more swish of the knees side to side, and then we're gonna pull both knees up in towards the chest, get a loose handhold, and then just hug those knees in, just to whatever comfort level works good for you. If wrapping the hands around the tops of the knees is not a thing, maybe you just grab the backs of the thighs and tuck your hands in between your knees so you get a little bit of a nice handhold. Knees are nice and heavy into the chest, and then just take about five nice big breaths here. Take one more breath. We're gonna keep those knees towards the chest, but loosen up your grab and then just take your knees, draw them in a couple of circles, go in one direction. Draw your knees in a couple of circles, go the other way. Beautiful, and then set your feet down onto the ground. We're gonna finish with a little bit of vibration work, but if your low back was feeling cranky today, you might choose to just take one or two little bounces, see how it feels, and then if it's not beneficial, you'll just leave it off. But start with the bent knee position and you're gonna push into your heels. So it's gonna feel like you're galloping on a horse. So there's this little rock of the hips, head is moving up and down. See how that feels. You might choose to keep this bent knee position, but if that feels great and you want just a little bit more sensation through the body, you're gonna walk your feet long. So imagine that you're standing in a mountain pose and now you're gonna move the feet. So toes are gonna move up and down so that heels drive into the floor and then see how this feels. If it felt better to have the bent knee position, take it, into your, take it back to the bent knee position. But if it feels okay to have the legs long, take a couple little bit more bounces making sure that your spine feels comfortable with this position. One or two more bounces. And then when you're ready, let everything relax. Let your toes fall out at your sides. Let your arms fall out nice and comfortable. And then just tune in just for a moment and notice, and then ask your body, where would be your best Shavasana? We have that stack of pillows handy. So if you think a little chest opener and a little back bend to finish your practice, to take your Shavasana that way would be nice then take your stack of pillows long ways up against the spine, lay back over your stack, and then bring your legs into constructive rest. So we wanna give those hips a little bit of a break, especially since we worked pretty hard 
to, with the, all that figure four work. So if a back bend and a chest opener feels like a nice Shavasana, take it here. You also have the option to take your pillows, tuck it under your knees, place one pillow underneath your head, leave the pillows off altogether, anything that feels really nice and would take you to your best finish. Take a second to find your way there. And then once you're there, invite some softness back in. Maybe close your eyes down or just soften your gaze. Allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm. Do a quick little assess or a scan right around the abdominal muscles and specifically around the belly button. And if it feels like you're holding the belly in or holding tension in the abdominal muscles, can you let the abdominal muscles soften? And allow that softness to find its way into your hips, into your low back, up into your chest and your shoulders. You always have the option to stay in your Shavasana as long as you like. So if you feel like staying where you are, just allow my voice to become background noise. But if your day calls for you to do so and you're ready to come out of your practice, start to gently wake up your fingers, gently wake up your toes, invite some gentle movement into your body. 
If you opted for that stack of pillows underneath your back, you might choose to roll off to one side just a little bit to move your pillows out of the way slowly and mindfully, and then take it back down onto the ground just so you can feel the benefits of that back bend and then find that big good morning stretch. So start by letting your back come down onto the ground, notice how you feel. And then if you like, walk your feet nice and long, arms are gonna reach up and overhead and just take that big good morning stretch, reach from fingers to toes, take a nice big breath back into your body. Awesome, and then in your own way, at your own pace, start to find your way up to a comfortable seated position. You can roll to one side or come up in any way that feels good to you. And always a reminder that you have the option to sit on your pillow too. So if you like sitting on a pillow, it's a nice way to cushion the bum and bring that floor up to meet you just a little bit so your knees can open a little bit. Once you've found that seated position, that's gonna work good for you. Stack both hands on top of the heart. We're gonna put just a little bit of gentle pressure on and then draw some little gentle circles with your head or think one inch circles in the air with your nose. So just keeping a little bit of a trap of the skin and connective tissue under your hands. Draw those little gentle circles, not big. We're not cranking the head around. We don't wanna move it too much. And then when you feel ready, take those circles and just draw them the other way. Awesome, one more circle around and then bring it all back to center. Eyes closed down, bow your head to your heart. Take a nice deep breath in, breathing in love and gratitude for yourself, for your mind, for your body, and the time that you take to take care of yourself. Take another nice big inhale, allow your shoulders to lift and your chest to move with the breath. And then as you exhale, let your shoulders soften, soften your jaw, and think about letting go of anything you're holding on to that won't serve you through the rest of your night. And then when you feel ready, gently lift up through the top of your head, gently open your eyes. I bow to you. Happy Monday, you guys are amazing.